epic weekend of racing. Such an exciting weekend of racing. Let me start right from the start. We started off Friday at Corrigan Oil Speedway. And the way they do heat races there, you have to finish in the top four to advance to the feature, okay? And you have to finish to the top three because the top three in each heat race draw for positions in the feature. What that does is it makes it exciting. You have to race in the heat race. Um, pavement princesses aren't allowed, I guess you could say. Like the guys that ride around in the heat race and just, you know, I'm one of them guys that doesn't matter. I'm trying to pass the car in front of me. That's just how I work. Well, in these races, everybody is trying to get that top three. That worked out really good and it, it, I guess it was pretty exciting. I got a lot of comments about it and so that was a good deal. Um, getting that draw position though got me to draw the number one for the feature. So I started on the pole of the feature which, you know, is always a bonus. It's relatively a uh, save my tires kind of thing. When you start up front, you don't have to battle the guys to get through the pack, you know, like I was in the heat race. You just kind of, I get in what I call leader mode. 
when I when I'm in leader mode, I'm running lap after lap after lap exactly the same as the previous lap as best of my ability. Kalamazoo Mod Wars on Saturday. We had Spartan Speedway on Friday. So I knew it was going to be a tough weekend for just me and John. So I reached out on social media for some help and um, I got results. I got help from John Parrish. I got help from Evan Jenks. I got help from my neighbor Randy Broughton. And I just, those three right there come aboard and just made things so much better and easier for me. Um, so I just quickly thank those guys for coming aboard and helping us this weekend. Feeling accomplished in a race car is tough. It's very tough. Racing is a humbling sport. I don't care whether it's you're on the dirt, you're on the asphalt. It's, I've done both and it's humbling. It truly is. It's just as soon as you think that you're, you're the one to be, you're the badass, you get knocked down. So I've got these two guys that 
I'm clicking with real well, Travis, with like you wouldn't believe. Just, I understand him. I understand what he says. I, and he understands what I say, and he's understanding more and more. I have the seat of the pants feel what the car needs to do, and he's getting that, and we get it figured. We've got it figured out. We're get, it's it's figured out, you know. And and with John, just he's known me for so long. He knows what I don't like, and he. I've had. I've had the opportunity to work with some of the most impressive people in the business in our state. And they're all awesome in their own right. It, but just, I've clicked with Travis in a way that it's epic. It's, it's epic. It's, I named the car Destiny because I knew that when I walked into Travis's shop and I seen this car, Bare frame with the suspension down in setup mode. All it had was a suspension on it. I knew that this was my car because I've raced enough cars to know good geometry. I, I just, and I've raced enough cars to know modifieds that I know what I want in a car. My wife feels like I should touch base on my name, the, 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 the whiskey racer, okay? Doesn't mean that I drink whiskey, whiskey and go race cars, all right? I drink a lot of whiskey when I'm not in my race car. That's <laughs> what it is. So, um, Cletus, he's over there telling me quit jibber jabber. Get to yeah. the point. Just tightening up my slop and my ball joint here. And my arm, my tie rod in. It's fucking awesome. Those things are sweet. Oh, I didn't know you were recording me. Why'd you have slap in it? Just because from being new, that or the, the guy that built the car didn't fucking tighten it like he should have. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in there. <laughs>